Okay, we have a situation today where we're going to do a correction. Um, the client has um, some orange brow and some of her own hairs. So what can we do to get rid of that orange? In a lot of cases, the orange or pink that's there is doesn't need to be corrected in any way because um, whatever color you're going to be using over it's going to be dark enough to obscure it. However, in this particular client's case, she's very fair and the color that she would probably use would not, in fact, cover that. So we need to look at trying to correct it. So for correction purposes, for or, uh, an orange or a pink, anything kind of in the red family, we're going to use olive. Uh, certain brands of pigments you can just buy olive. Otherwise, olive is made. I'm going to, and this client that I'm, or student that I'm working with, has the soup, the SUP brand or line of the Febrows pigments. I just want to make sure this is agitated well enough. I'm sure I've never even used it. Um, that's not true. So I'm putting in. I'm attempting to put in two drops of yellow. And this is the recipe for anybody trying to make olive. I just add a little bit more. And to that, we are going to add one drop of black. And in the soup line, the closest we have to black is Arabian Night. All right. Then I use my professional mixing stick, a toothpick. And I'm going to mix these two together. Now, if I feel by looking at that that it's too dark and not olive enough, which it really does appear, I'm just going to add more yellow till I get what I want. I mean, it's it's getting there, but it's not, and I know the reason for that chemically, as far as chemistry goes, with this line, but I don't want to go into it. It's too complex and not even worth talking about. Um, so I'm adding quite a bit more yellow. And it's starting to look olive. The problem is that it is so much darker than the color that we're going to be trying to hide that I actually am going to dilute it down even more. Not literally. I don't have any pigment diluter here. I should get some. Since I do most of these things at home, most of these lessons at home, these kind. Um, obviously, if I'm working on a client, that's in my studio. So even though the formula is two drops yellow to one drop black to get all of, you got to use your judgment because the whole reason that we go to olive is has to do with the color wheel, and that's something that I will be explaining in more detail. Um, in the eventual online academy. Um, so, um, you know, I'm still going to add more yellow. I want that to lighten up even more. 
the whole logic behind the, the olive is that we can't make green. If we could make green, that would be perfect. But that would be perfect only for uh, blue. I mean, sorry. It would be perfect only for red, not for variants of red like orange and pink. Okay, I'm going to call that good enough. Now, I know that the, the student in question has um, a machine. And I think, you, I can't remember if you're doing microblading. I think you're doing microblading and shading. So, um, but first we need to do a little color correction here. And I kind of hesitate to do that with this um, machine that I have because it's so rough. But you'd be getting your olive and you would be, Oh, this is the client's right brow, so I'm going to turn it the right way. Um, when I do color correction, I don't use a one, so that's probably the problem here. I don't have a one. Um, I mean, I have only a one. I would use like a three R, and I keep this. I would do the speed on moderate, not not too high, not too low. What I'm trying to do here is neutralize this orange so that I'm not trying to get it to look like the client's skin. I'm trying to get it look to look kind of um, brown. And I'm just going really lightly with this machine because, like I say, it is a one, and uh, the, the needle is a one. Let's see what we have here so far. So there's still orange. By the way, you can also try this doing this correction with a manual shader. So let me take a minute and do that. I'm doing a little bit of the soft hat method, which is that pick up and flick thing. But you could also just pixelate like this. The reason I'm choosing to do this is because using that one is going to take me forever, that one needle. I guess I should go ahead and I'm going to try to find the threes. Although, you know, I've got a couple classes coming up and I'll probably get more of these, not these, but more regular PMU machines. Let's see where we are. So the orange is getting more neutralized to a brown. The problem is this client is light, and so she's not going to even want that dark of a brown. So, you know, honestly, what I would do is still lighten up that olive. I'm just wasting a bunch of my yellow. To show one little thing. It's okay, I have multiple bottles of that stuff. Again, the goal here is just to neutralize the pigment to a brown, not to neutralize it to the client's skin. So I'm going to take the machine and um, just do very, sorry, I want you to see me dipping into the pigment. Very rapid 
uh, movements. Okay, um, on a human and everything, and the, you know, you'll be able to customize this to get it lighter, but we've neutralized the orange quite a bit so that it's not as orange as it was. Again, you can go through with a um, a manual tool and accomplish quite a lot there. Also, masking. Let's see what we have. All right, now I, I'm in a situation where I don't remember what the client, uh, the student wanted to do, whether it was just shading or microblading was shading. So um, I'm going to keep this rolling 